a sure sign of spring, mm -hmm. even if the weather isn't quite sure about it yet. There's usually, uh, you know, we're called the City of Fountains because we have so many beautiful sure. fountains. And today they come alive as we celebrate our unique holiday that is typically a bit warmer. Absolutely. KC Fountain Day. This morning, Joel Nichols can hardly wait for the excitement. How's it going out there? Where are you? He's bundled, too. Hey, we're having a great time. This is the uh, Spirit of Freedom Fountain, right, Mr. Cole? That is absolutely correct. And it's a day that uh, everyone in Kansas City has been waiting for. It is uh, the day we turn on the fountains, Joel. So. You know, uh, uh, Doug Coe is here. He's on the board of the City of Fountains Foundation. And this is this is a special day. The Kansas City kind of changes on this day. Well, of course, uh, this is the day we look forward to, as I mentioned. But it is a monumental day because some of our fountains, as you know, over the past years have, have fallen to the point where they needed repair. And this is a great story of a collective and a collaborative uh, contribution citywide from the City of Kansas City, from the City of Fountains Foundation, uh, to private individuals and donors to re repair and restore this uh, this historic fountain in Kansas City that honors. Uh, Bruce Watkins and the African Americans that have made a contribution right. to Kansas City. So it's a great day for us. And Kansas we're right City here folks. in the shadow of the Bruce Watkins Cultural Center there, and then this will uh, this will get going. How much did this cost to get it back into shape and and give it the honor it deserves? Well, I think it took a all hands on deck approach, over eight hundred thousand dollars to get it functional. My goodness. Uh, but we're going to be out the city throughout the city today. Uh, the the uh, Meyer Circle Fountain uh, will be down in uh, in various places. But it's our our dedication as Kansas Cityans that we love our fountains and it celebrates who we are as a city. And are there a couple hundred fountains I read somewhere? Oh, uh, I think we have, uh, you know, the, 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 when you grow up, you know that we have the second most fountains in the world to Rome. Right. But that gets expensive at a time, and, and the City of Fountains <laughs> Foundation actually was founded to make sure that we just don't have fountains, but we have functional fountains. And it takes a lot of work to keep these things going. Year in but, and year out. And, the, and it all aims at this day. And if you can't see a fountain today to feel good about Kansas City, just go find Doug. Because <laughs> Doug will make you feel great about Kansas City. Well, it's a wonderful story and everyone see? from Kansas It's an inheritance. And we want to pass it on and we want to make sure that future generations know our diversity, our culture, yeah. our commitment to the arts. And uh, the first thing that you know is when they turn the fountains on, hey, spring is here. This is it. This is the sign. And we'll talk more about the fountains. It's kind of our liquid legacy. Yeah, we we'll be back and talk more with Doug in just a little bit. Bubbling over with excitement. Thanks, Thanks Joel. Joel.